Travis Scott and other organizers of the Astro World Music Festival in Houston are already facing at least one lawsuit over the November 5th crowd surge, which left eight dead and dozens more injured. In a petition filed November 6th in Harris County District Court, an injured concert goer who called the incident a predictable and preventable tragedy sued Scott himself, as well as organizer Scoremore and concert giant Live Nation, accusing them of negligence and gross negligence and seeking at least $1 million in damages. The lawsuit claims the disaster was the direct result of a motivation for profit at the expense of concert goers' health and safety and the encouragement of violence. The Astro World attendees' attorney wrote, defendants failed to properly plan and conduct the concert in a safe manner. Instead, they consciously ignored the extreme risk of harm to concert goers and in some cases actively encouraged and fomented dangerous behaviors. They claim organizers disregarded warning signs earlier in the day, like an incident in which concert goers breached a security gate around the park, stampeded into the premises, and trampled over one another. Even after ambulances arrived to treat attendees who had suffered serious, obvious injury, the suit says the organizers made the conscious decision to let the show go on, despite the extreme risk of harm to concert goers that was escalating by the moment, and that Scott himself is known for hosting intense concerts and encouraging his fans to rage. The case is one of the first of many lawsuits that are expected to be filed over the incident, which appears to be one of the deadliest crowd disasters at a music event in years. The crush occurred during the first night of a two-day festival attended by more than 50,000 people at NRG Park Stadium Complex in Scott's hometown. The exact cause of the disaster and the timeline of events are still unclear, but videos and witness accounts appear to indicate a chaotic scene in which the already rowdy crowd surged toward the stage, making it difficult for some to breathe. At the time of this recording, representatives for Scott, Scoremore, and Live Nation had not immediately returned requests for comment. For more on this, head to THR.com. This is The Hollywood Reporter News.